Welcome back to Lightwave Guru, the best Lightwave Guru in the world. I heard it yesterday in a forum that I think from myself that I am the best Lightwave artist in the world. Yeah, what can I say? I can only say no. I am not only the best Lightwave artist in the world, I am God, my friend. I hope you have now understand what that kind of dishes make with myself. I give a meep about that. Okay, back to topic. I uh, show the last time the wheel deformation with bullet in real time, yeah? And uh, I understand not the principle, yeah? YouTube make videos popular and, and us are not. So that video have 500 views and my car trailer have so 100 views or 200 views. Nobody must understand that, yeah, that algorithm. And what's happened there? Anyway, so I show uh, I show today the same setup with a complete car, and that setup is perfect to test your spring damping. Yeah, in what way works the spring if you build a physical car setup, and uh, also included is now the tire deformation. Yeah. And the version I built here, you can see it on that uh, on that, that collision cylinder here, is for a heavy load, yeah, for a huge heavy object or a, a heavy loaded car body, yeah. So if we start now the simulation, ah, before we started, I talk a little bit about that what you s would see in some seconds. This eight cylinders here, yeah. Are kinematic objects, it's the same as in the other scene. And these kinematic objects are animated by hand, yeah. So it makes 18,000 uh, yeah, degrees in 1500 frames. So the motors from the car in the moment is offline, yeah. So I bring the motors offline for the test, uh, not the motors from the car works. This year, are the motors now for that kind of testing, yeah? And uh, another tip, this eight uh, cylinders rotate not only in one direction, it have also an Y, a noisy channel, and every from them have a different noisy channel with a different uh, phase, so that the uh, all wheels are would be individually detected and give this information to the spring and then the four springs give us this, this uh, information to the par uh, car body, yeah? And in the end, that would then end in uh, this year. So you can see now that uh, the spring, uh, the four springs uh, uh, work in the right way and give this pressure to the uh, car body and then the car body react, yeah? And now you can, with that setup, test your spring damping if you drive with a car with uh, a specific speed, yeah? So another thing is, you see here, um, uh, in the best way here, in, in, in that little window, that all the wheels would be deformed in real time. The simple reason is that bullet cannot see subdivision objects and that means this tires I'm modeling for myself for the test is the low poly object. And in a moment you see it in the preview with a subdivision level from three, but it would be calculated in bullet with subdivision level zero as hard poly object. Yeah? So if I I can show that if we activate that for wheels and I change here the preview. Then you can see it, yeah? So that's subdivision level three. So that's enough for the OpenGL preview so that it so that it run in real time and you have a good look, yeah. But it would be calculated with zero. So and that's the uh, way it works. And now I have a complete car setup, bullet physics, with wheel deforming. Yeah, and it runs in real time. And with that principle, I think you can also create a, a fake if you would uh, drive it then uh, 
on the uneven underground. Yeah. So if you have it in a, in a white environment, yeah. And uh, that's funny to see that it works in real time and totally perfect. So there's nothing that is broken or you have uh, no glitches or jumps and so on and so on. Yeah? And that's funny to see that it works perfect with bullet physics in Lightwave. And with that kind of uh, setup, you can now study and change, for example, <coughs> sorry, uh, the spring damping and the uh, way uh, for the springs. Yeah? How long is the way that, uh, that the spring works for every wheel? Yeah? And uh, yeah, that I want to show, and you have seen it now. I think I show next time a rendering with that. And the thing is, with, uh, if you render it, then you have also a motion blur, and then it looks a little bit smarter as uh, here in uh, OpenGL Preview. So, in the end, do you not forget, I'm the best Lightwave artist of the world. That's my own view of myself. So I know not one other Lightwave artist that are better as myself. Ha ha. But the reality is, I know many very good Lightwave artists and I learn from them every day. Yeah, especially here in Germany. We have here in Germany very good Lightwave artists. And if somebody tell me that I am the best Lightwave artist, then I must loud. So, okay, enough joking. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Later, bye.